Hey guys, Brent Brown, Toyota CW30 Street Team here. We are at the Balloon Festival in Provo. Well, we lay it all out on the ground, and then we cold inflate it. We have a big fan that fills it up with cold air, and then when I put the heat into it, the heat rises, it's all trapped inside the balloon, and slowly the balloon comes up. It's really very simple how it all works. So then how do you come down, or how do you steer, how does all that work? Well, physics will make sure it will come down. <laughs> what goes up must come down. But um, I have ropes here, you can see on the sides, and they are attached to various vents. I've got one in the top that I pull, and it only opens up a little bit, a couple inches, and that will let some heat out, and that will just come down. Or we can just let it cool off and come down. Currently in a hot air balloon in the air. Floating high above Provo. Can, it's so cool. Yeah, we gotta, can show you our view. Yeah. Look at our amazing view. <laughs> hot to us. Um, so that was so cool. It was a lot different than I kind of expected it to be. Um, it was, the landing was kind of scary. I wasn't sure. I felt like we were coming in really fast. And as you can see, we were in just like a random neighborhood. Random. We are. But such a good experience. I loved it. What did you think? Sam? Oh my gosh, it was so fun. So scary. I could not wait to do it again. Okay, so we just landed in our balloon at the <sighs> Balloon Festival in Provo. Um, it's a really cool community event. What was fun is seeing all the kids kind of gather around the balloon and help put it away. Tomorrow, for the 4th of July, bring your kids out and they're doing tethered rides so you don't fly away, you just kind of go up in the air and come back down. And uh, for me, I think I'm going to stick to the street team mobile. Yeah. What?